I've trained dogs to do the dummy launcher of all sizes, and as it appears, I have trained the smallest dogs to do the dummy launcher. No one else has done a five pound dog and under five pounds, and I have several under my belt. Jimmy Duresta's dog, it's sort of appropriate that I'm doing this video. It's sort of like Jimmy Duresta because I'm going to make something. But his dog, Chippy, is under five pounds. He can do the dummy launcher. That is beautiful. Any dog can do it. Now, one of the drawbacks is that, like, if it's an object this big and it's a five pound dog, they, can put their, they can't put their mouth around it. So you have to alter the dummy. The, the dummy and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I've, I've altered several dummies, and I have found that this, this design, I, you know, you could try it with the other kind. There's a foam kind where you can take the core out. You, you have to do something to the core. You can't be just shooting the core, and the core gets hot, so you have to do something to it. But I've found that these work great for a five-pound dog. The only problem is, is the circumference of this object is too big. So I'm going to show you how to turn it into this, which I have found dogs under five pounds can deal with this. So this, this isn't very hard, but I'm going to, I'm going to you know, say this right now. I, I'm sort of like Professor Safety. I don't give a damn. I don't. So I, w I will wear some glasses. And if, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, then find somebody that, like me that really doesn't give a damn. Okay, but there, there are some drawbacks to this. It's gonna be real smoky probably. I'm gonna be burning some rubber. And um, also this rubber is um, like a thermal rubber. So when it heats up, it, um, it, it melts. But like I said, I don't give a damn. So I'm gonna show you all how to, how to make, make this. And what you do is you use a grinder. You're using a grinder like this. And here we go. Now this, uh, now when you get it to this point, now when you when you get it to this point, you still have a problem because this this thing is dipped into the this thermal rubber, so it's it's closer. And by the way, you see this this red dust coming out. You, you might want to wear a particle mask, but like I said, I don't really give a damn. I wear a mask when I go outside for the COVID, so I don't want anybody getting hurt because of me. That's why I gave you the warning, right? So now, I might try something like this. This is a, um, that's a Bowie knife from, from Home Depot. No, uh, Walmart, I mean. I don't know if they sell them at Home Depot. But it's, it's really, it's really a tough material. Using my brute strength. See, once you once you start it ripping, this sort of it sort of comes off. It's worth it. it. It's not taking that long. Like you know, maybe maybe this takes you 15 minutes to like make the damn thing. Root strength. Let me 
us a knife, because I guess I'm not that much of a brute, am I? See why you would want to wear gloves doing this? Look at my hair. It looks insane. I need a haircut, don't I? But here we go. So that's a basic thing. Um, you know, if you wanted to, you could take a grinder and take this 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 down here. But uh, th that circumference is a, a small dog can pick this up. Now I I. You know, this is not really going to heat up that much. Usually I'm using this when it's cold out, but if you live someplace hot, you might be able to, if the, if the dog will pick up metal, you might be able to figure out if you shoot this thing. It looks like it's aluminum. Um, if it's going to be hot, it might just cool down in the air. Or you can do this. I just wrapped some kind of string around it. And when I wrap the string around it, I believe I glued it in place using probably crazy glue, which is an awesome product. And by the way, while we're making something, I want to give you a little tip about crazy glue. Crazy glue, if you want it to cure real quick, sprinkle baking soda on it. Also, if you're sprinkling baking soda on it, you can build it up and it can be sanded. So you could, um, you know, fix fix a lot of things. You, um, fiberglass, um, you know, carbon fiber, stuff like that. You can build it up and, and sand it real smooth. But I believe I probably just put string on this, wrapped it around there, and glued it in place. So this is how you make a dummy launcher for a dog that's under five pounds. Right here. Buy this thing, take a grinder, cut it off, and you're going to be good to go. But, like I said, if you give a shit, maybe you're not going to want to get a grinder out and do this. Hey, check this out. Oh, look at that. I got the core. So, um, you, you know, you, you, want, you want to keep this on there. I, I'll glue this on here with crazy glue, of course. But, um... You want you want something on the end of it, uh, if, if you you know because this this is going to help it bounce. So so just glue this on. I don't know if this is glued on, but just glue it on, or don't cut it. Well, this one stays on. Anyway, that's how you do it. I'm sure that you all can make it up, make up the rest. But you you have to have a bumper on it. You have to, or else it doesn't work. It goes right into the ground. Don't ever point this at anything or anyone when you're shooting it. Make sure that your dog is calm, because if your dog is jumping around when you shoot this thing, if your dog isn't sitting, you're conditioning that dog to be excited. And remember, excitement is the point all dogs make a mistake. They bark, lunge, bite, or just don't listen. Train your dogs, train your goddamn dogs, stop being lazy.